Hi there and welcome to another video. Today I'm going to share with you 10 quick tips so you can be a success at your next horse show. So let's get started. If you'd like to improve your riding, win more ribbons at your next horse show, or just like horsey related stuff, then subscribe to my YouTube channel. Hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so you don't miss anything. Now let's get started. I'm a firm believer that if you have knowledge about something, it's up to you to share that knowledge so any, everybody can benefit from it. And keeping that in mind, I'm going to share with you 10 easy tips that you can follow so you can be a success at your next horse show. Number one, be on time. And that's more than just getting to the horse show grounds on time. That is getting to your class and getting to ringside on time. If you're not on time, you get rushed, you lose your focus, and that could blow the class for you. So be on time. Have you ever been late to your horse show and you got flustered, so you messed up? I'd like to know. Put it in the comments below. Number two, be neat and clean. Nothing says, I don't care like having a dirty horse, a horse with a manure stain on it. So be neat and be clean. You don't have to have the super duper most expensive outfit and the most expensive saddle out there. You just have to be neat and clean. If you're on a budget, no problem. You can get really good quality secondhand gear at your local tax shops. They often have consignment or even go on Facebook. There's groups there that have lots of secondhand clothing and secondhand equipment for horse people. Number three, be prepared. Have your grooming kit, your brushes, your sponge, your buckets, your water, everything in one place so it's handy for you. Don't have your buckets down by the horse trailer and your grooming kit up here and something by the ringside. Have everything together. Have everything organized. It saves you a lot of time and saves you a lot of stress on the day of the horse show. Number four, be prepared. Know the rules. Know the requirements for your class and know the type of tack and equipment that you're allowed, you're not allowed to have, and the requirements of that class. Number five, be consistent with your riding. Showing the judge that you're a team doesn't happen overnight. Riding once a month is not going to prepare you for that horse show. So riding consistently into communication with your horse is what you're really going to need to have to get be a success in the horse show. Check out this video about being consistent with your riding. Number six, take the time to be engaged with the class at the horse show. And this means watch the other horses go around at the horse show watch their rounds, see how they're doing it. Maybe they're having difficulty with the distances between the fences. Maybe there's a tight turn in there. Don't be surprised when you get into that ring after several other people have gone through the class. You can often learn something by watching somebody else who's gone through that class. If you're interested in improving your position, then take a look at these videos, the position review videos. I've gotten so many comments on them and emails from them. Everybody seems to like them and I think that you'll like them too. So watch these videos next. Number seven, be prepared mentally. Know your course, know your class specification, know the restrictions, know what you're doing before you get into that ring. Have a strategy for your day of showing. Study your course, break it down into its components and ask yourself, what is the judge going to want to see me do when I'm on this part of the course? A straight line to an oxer may mean that, you know, the judge is going to want to see me go straight and sit up to that oxer. If there's a tight rollback turn, what is the judge going to want to see you do when you're going through that cor corner? So ask yourself, what does the judge want to see me do? Number eight, and this goes back to your turnout again, clean your tack. Having clean tack is a one way to show the judge that, yeah, you know what? You really do care about what's happening and nothing says, and when you're cleaning your tack, have the keepers and runners secured so that there are no flapping straps on your bridle, on your saddle, on your martingale. A really easy fix is to get an elastic and put it around the piece so that the runner doesn't fall down and allow the straps to flap. Number nine, turn out as they say over and over and over and over and over again. You only have one chance to make a good first impression. So your turnout is going to be the number one thing that the judge sees first off. 
And this means that your horse has to be braided. Your horse has to have a braided tail and no manure stains. Nothing says, I don't care, than having a big manure stain on your horse. If you can't braid, hire somebody to braid your horse. And have your horse's tail braided. To me, for me as a judge, that's the icing on the cake. It shows your horses off so much nicer. I didn't really realize it until I really saw a horse that didn't have its tail braided and it did have its tail braided and the difference was quite amazing. So braid your horse's tail. It shows your horse off nicely. Put oil on the horse's hooves. That's an easy thing. It might wear off before you finish that round, but when the horse starts off the ra- uh, starts off the class, it's got beautiful turnout. Wipe off your boots before you get into that ring. And your turnout at the in gate should just be a simple wipe down. Wiping off the dust off your boots, wiping the horse's mouth off, putting some oil on the horse's hooves. Doesn't need to be a complete grooming effort. And the last one, number 10, have fun. Keep breathing, have fun, and and know that the judge is rooting for you. Have fun out there. If you're interested in improving your position, then take a look at these videos, the position review videos. I've gotten so many comments on them and emails from them. Everybody seems to like them and I think that you'll like them too. So watch these videos next. If you'd like to improve your riding, win more ribbons at your next horse show, or generally like other horsey related stuff, then subscribe to my YouTube channel.